Hi, I'm Rob with We Keep You Cycling, and today the Fondrius TF3 1.2 frame set. Tapping into his 12 seasons as a professional cyclist, world champion rider Maurizio Fondrius teamed up with bike building experts in Italy from the Espria Group to build a line of high performance bikes. The TF3 is one of those lovingly created frame sets designed to find the balance between performance oriented stiffness and sharp handling ride quality. To that end, they built a frame set that's just 980 grams. While it's light, it doesn't lack any of the ride characteristics that you'd want for aggressive sprinting or great handling characteristics so that you can go deep into turns and really throw the bike around in maybe even the sharpest of hairpin turns. While the weight is certainly there, it wasn't actually the first thing I noticed. But let me take that back. When I pulled it off the stand after we built it for the first time, I said, wow, this is a light bike. On my first ride, however, that wasn't the first thing I noticed. I noticed first and foremost that the head tube was incredibly stiff. It's been my complaint on lighter bikes that you tend to have a loose front end. Not the case here. The second complaint I normally have on under a kilo frame sets, bottom bracket. It's a tough area to get stiff for good power transfer when you're trying to drop weight. Now, the simple fact is, no matter what I do, I cannot get the head tube or bottom bracket to have any noticeable flex. This is likely the result of their monocoque engineering along with a very beefy down tube. For power transfer, they've also got the back end locked down. So much so that in the right condition, just before the apex, if I start getting out of the saddle and sprinting, I can get just a tad bit of wheel hop. Now that's not a fault of the frame, but that's the fact I'm off the line and applying power too early, and the back end is doing everything I want, putting all that power through the rear wheel. The monocoque design does mean it's relatively stiff, of course, and so I get a fair bit of road communication back, but not in an overly intense way. I can do two hour group rides, high pace, high energy, and feel the frame is ideally suited. I can also do full day rides without feeling like the frame has abused me. The frame set in and itself is very impressive and to complement it they've built a different fork. It's got a unique shape. It's called the reflex fork design and while I thought it was mostly marketing and a bit of hype, the simple fact is for me it improves the cornering characteristics by doing two key things. First, improving the torsional rigidity of the fork to provide great crisp handling. And then the stiffness allows me to be very sure-footed in extreme braking situations. And I've done a lot of extreme braking testing on this bike, variety of rims and different compounds, and every time I'm overly impressed by what's happening on the front end. Combine the fork with the very stiff head tube and you have a platform that both handles well and brakes extremely well. There's a few things you won't notice about the TF3 just by taking a quick glance at it. For starters, it supports both the mechanical and an electric configuration in the same frame set. That's what the 1.2 designation denotes. As you see it configured here, I have the electric group. And I've covered up the, with the provided flaps the derailleur cable housing for front and rear derailleurs. If you buy just the frame set, it comes pre-run with internal cable routing so all you have to do is pass through your derailleur cables and brake cables and you're off riding. If, however, you want to do electric, you pull those out and you cover them up with the provided flaps and you have an electric group set frame already pre-configured with the appropriate holes and internal routing for the electric. Another thing to denote is the seat post. It may quickly look like you have an integrated seat mast. And I'm a believer in integrated seat posts. I know that they provide better power transfer and a stiffer frame set. However, when it comes to traveling, they are less than ideal. Fondrius has taken the best of both worlds and given you a very stiff seat tube, a beefed up seat post, and a clamp system that has no slip. And that's been my complaint on carbon on carbon seat post to frames on lightweight frames. For whatever reason, the clamp just doesn't seem to work and you end up having to put carbon paste in there to avoid the seat post slip. I'm happy to say that the clamp system they've designed provides two key benefits, no slippage and 
the seat post is always pointed in the right direction. I don't have that. It's rotated slightly for whatever reason. It's just configured properly. One thing to note as a drawback, it comes in seven sizes, but for whatever reason, they tend to run a tad bit on the large size. I need a 57 effective top tube, but I've had to get a 56.3, otherwise I'd be running a very short stem. And of course the drawback on that is the shorter the stem, the twitchier the handling on the front end. And with the descents and speed we run coming down off the mountains, having a twitchy front end is literally dangerous. This has been my bike for quite some time now, and I quite enjoy it. If you're looking for the best balance between weight and handling, I think Fondrius has packed quite the punch with the TF3. And particularly if you're on the fence as to mechanical or electric and want that option down the road, they've got you covered for both of those. I'm Rob with We Keep You Cycling, and this is the Fondrius TF3 1.2 frame set. If you have any questions about this frame set or any of the frames we carry, drop us a line or email us info at wekeepyoucycling.com.